I think that was really a, a big pivot. That was about 25 to 30% of our top line revenue. And more importantly, I think, Vince, for us, was that that was a key to our marketing effort. Because when, when we had uh, myself going out there and a couple other coaches going out there and speaking about leadership and teams and how we do that really well, and we had a, lot, a, a really nice platform in front of a very targeted audience of founders and entrepreneurs, and all of a sudden, you know, that spigot turned off. Like, hey, now yeah. we got to reinvent uh, how we market. And so we really had to get very serious about um, the, the idea of social media and what we're doing digitally. And like you and I are doing the podcasting and webinars and things in that case to continue to educate our, our target audience about what we're doing. And probably one of the biggest pivots we made, and we really felt this for a long time was we really felt like we had to move to something, uh, more tangible for our teams. And we've done a lot of playbooks in the past for our members and, and clients so that each person has their own personalized playbook. And one of the things I discovered, Vince, in this business was, you know, accountability has, has, gotten, has kind of gotten a negative connotation, right? It's kind of like a four-letter word now, right? And I'm thinking like, no, 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 that's a good thing, right? Like we want accountability with our teams. We want visibility. We want these itties in our business. And now all of a sudden, accountability and visibility was really tough due to COVID and we're all remote learning. And, and a lot of companies pivoted overnight to a remote environment of which they'd never had one in the past. So they don't know if, you know, Jane and Aish are sitting at home and they're like in their penguin pajamas all day, or if they're like, hey, how are we going to do visibility? So we had to get really wise. And so we put in together some software to back up called DD Ops, Data Driven Operations. And it was okay. so critical for, for three reasons, really, Vince. The first reason was we had a bunch of team members now that were just spread out and, and not connecting in the same way. So how do we do our daily huddle and do that really well and get visibility on camera where everybody sees each other and do that really well? Yeah. So then the second thing was um, how do we get tied to accountability back on what my role and responsibility is. And, and that's really easy for most of us in companies because when we offer a job, we have this great laundry list of, of this is what the roles and responsibility of that job are, right? And then we go, okay, you were hired to do this. And then no one ever actually fact checks that back to like, hey, you were hired to do this. And it turns out you're doing 50% of it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, listen, if I hired you to do all these things, um, I'm sure that my employees are going to be pretty frustrated if I only played them, paid them 50% of the salary I offered, right? Hey, I offered you 80. I I'm paying you 40. H how do you feel? Like, whoa, wait a minute. That's not okay. Like, no, that's right. That's not okay. So conversely, is it okay for our employees to give 50% of the responsibilities that they signed on for the full salary? So, so we got to kind of get that back to accountability. And I think like there's that challenge of, uh, wow, accountability feels like micromanagement sometimes. Well, there's deadlines and there's requirements. We all went to university. We went to school. We had tests. It's not like the teacher says, you know what? It's fine if you're not ready this Friday. How about next Friday, Vince? You know, then you could take the test. No one does that, right? Like it's, there's accountability to it. The third thing, of course, is uh, really the coachability because that, that data-driven information that now comes in gives our leaders who didn't go to school to be coaches, right? Like they went to school to study engineering or study mm -hmm. marketing or retail or whatever their, their specialty is and, and, and likely what they built their business on. Mm -hmm. Now they've got to coach all these employees. Now we give them data-driven information that have been input from the employees themselves. And we can fact check that and get all this data mm 